What is the process of assigning costs to cost objects? Well, to begin with, this is the activity whereby you assign costs to the activity that gives rise to that cost. Okay, now what does that mean? How do you go about doing this? Well, to start with, you uh, identify the object to which you wish to assign the cost. These can be for a company, a brand, a product line, a division, a department, um, branches, programs, anything like that. All right. Now, you combine all of the costs that you can identify as uh, being incurred by or that this object gives rise to. You combine all of those into pools based upon a certain allocation base. And that can be an activity, it can be a number of individuals, it can be time periods, it can be anything like that. Like for example, you may want to use a percentage of utility usage or um, the square footage, right? So you would assign all of these costs into these pools and then you these pools are identified by this allocation base that you've identified. Okay, then to get a unit figure, you would divide that total cost pool by the number of elements in that allocation base. All right, and that would give you a per unit basis to be able to assign those costs. Now, you'll look for cost drivers in any specific job activity, whatever. And if you can identify those cost drivers, which are the exact same things as the allocation base, they're what's causing the cost to incur. So their presence is an indication that you need to use this allocation base and multiply it by every unit of that cost driver that you have present. And that's how you again assign these collective pools of cost in the appropriate percentage to the activity or, or to the object where these activities occur, these cost drivers occur. Okay, so that's how assigning costs to these various cost objects works.